Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here. We've got a very special episode for you guys today. Uh, I'm joined with Combat Wombat. Hello. And we're going to be looking at Planet Fall futuristic battle coaster we also have a very special week for everybody i'm doing something a little bit different this time uh we're, we're doing something called wombat week <laughs> combat wombat submits something to me like every week and i can barely keep up with them so i decided well hey he's got enough creations in the inbox about nine to do an entire week's worth so we're going to be doing the first video of every day of this week from monday to sunday is going to be a combat wombat creation so we're going to be starting off uh, this Monday with Planet Fall Futuristic Battle Coaster and then um, he's going to join me as a guest on this episode and then we're going to dive into his other creations um, throughout the week. So uh, stay tuned and let's check it out. Alright, so this was sent in by Combat Wombat, one of our Discord master builders and golden patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Combat Wombat. Really means a lot to me. And he says, uh, War is hell, Johnny. War is hell, but can be quite pretty to look at in this case. Now answering the age-old question, what do you get if you combine Planko, spaceships, mechs, tanks, aliens, war machines, hundreds and hundreds of fireworks and explosion. An awesome cu uh, custom soundtrack by Ben Hammond himself and a four kilometer long hyper coaster. You get this, the coaster that puts the combat in the name Combat Wombat. <laughs> Featuring an original score by Ben Hammond. Thanks, buddy. Link is in the workshop description. Thanks to Red Dragon, Mick Dread, Beep Beep, uh, Spooty Man, and JSC88 Texas for some awesome blueprints. Links are in the description. Sorry for blowing up your stuff, guys, but war is hell. <laughs> Uh, ride at night, turn up the music volume to full, turn down the sound effects to below 50%. Please don't explore the full park until riding the coaster. Please don't skip the lift on this one. Gotta have that built at ride at 6 a.m. Hope you enjoy, have a great day, and as always, keep up the great work, Combat Wombat. All right, that's quite the uh, introduction. That ex sounds exciting. Let's take a quick look at the Steam Workshop. All right, here it is, Planetfall Futuristic Battle Coaster by Combat Wombat. So you have a few shoutouts here, Combat. So we have uh, Red Dragon, McDread, Beep Beep, Spooty Man, and JSC. So they created, uh, uh, what did they create exactly? Because you linked their workshops. I guess we could talk oh. about it while we look around. Uh, well, McDread has got the big spaceship from uh, his uh, mothership coaster. Mm -hmm. I just took the coaster out and just used the spaceship. Right. Um, Red Dragon, that's his avatar mech, the green one. Because I love that one. Right. Uh, Beep Beep made the uh, alien spaceships. Okay. I got really unhappy when I showed him a, bill a picture when I crashed one of them. But <laughs> the way it goes. Uh, Spooty Man, May, and uh, JSC both. I I've just went on the workshop looking for some spaceships, different spaceship designs. So they made a. There's each. There's one of each of their spaceships in there. Awesome. Okay, so come over here, guys. Rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it, and. There you go. Links will be down in the description as always. So here we are. You said write it first and uh, ask questions later. Is that how you still want to do it? Yeah. I think, well, uh, I mean, I guess you can look around the little, uh, there's like the little uh, entrance area with the spaceport and stuff. This area? Yeah, exactly. The entrance. And... Oh, well, we'll do a full walk around. I guess we'll just jump right into it, I suppose. That's what you wanted. But this looks absolutely insane. Ships everywhere. And I saw some fireworks going off while we were talking. So um, I guess we'll just... I'll, I'll crank the volume and we'll get on to it. But we will take a quick sure look thing, at this. Man. The coast... Well, four kilometers, you said? I believe so, yeah. Oh, no, it's broken down. Do you have uh, mechanics in here? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I have one. Okay. So we got a 6.95 excitement, a 5.1 fear, and a 1.44 nausea. The duration is 240 seconds, and the length is 4,300 meters. Uh, max speed, 91 miles per hour. Average speed, 41 miles per hour. Pretty crazy. Uh, all right, let's just uh, get right into it then. I'll have to fast forward it. We'll wait till the ride is fixed. The guests fill up. Should we go on with the guests? I, I suppose that couldn't hurt, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. So uh, I haven't really. So you have a custom have soundtrack capacity. that Ben Hammond made. Okay, it's auto loaded yeah. in. Perfect. And, and he did an excellent job on that. 
So. Did you say you wanted Thanks. me to turn the the sound down? Uh, I think uh, the um, the sound effects because uh, the coast is really loud. Okay. And then you can't really hear the sound track as well. Okay, I'm gonna get the volume up and we'll jump on this. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. This looks crazy. Hope you enjoy it. Enemy ships detected. Oh, there's that mech from Red Dragon. Yeah. I recognize Beautiful. that from his avatar project. And the spaceship up there, that's the one built by Spooty Man, I believe. This one? Yeah. Very cool. All squads of the battle stations. I didn't know uh, Ben Kamen composed his own music. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's uh, he does some music when he's not building awesome coasters. Whoa! I love how you use those streamer fireworks for the uh, missiles. Yeah, well, I love those too. Oh my goodness. I think this is the first time we've seen fireworks used on a coaster. So this is pretty exciting. Whoa! <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That is amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're shooting back and forth and we're passing through it. That's great. Yeah. What's that, bro? My goodness. Right through the legs. Oh, it sparks. Some great colors in here, too. Wow. This is what Jake's ship was like. Is that like a spider mech? Yeah. That is cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, the destruction down below is amazing. A ship or a base? It's like an underground installation. Okay. That is wild. My goodness. I almost I I, I do have it. I do want to see the cinematic almost just to see different angles of those fireworks going off because that was quite incredible. Should we go straight into a uh, cinematic? Yeah, sure. It doesn't, um, like, it's all designed, uh, the timing and stuff for the first person view, so it doesn't right. quite have the same effect in the cinematic with the triggers and stuff. But. That, that's a good point. I was just hoping maybe it would pull out to certain shots. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it might work out, it might not. Uh, I, how long did it take you to set up all those uh, fireworks? Is that like a oh, day in it's itself? Just... Oh, more than a day. Oh <laughs> boy. Because you have to, um, you can't uh, set the uh, the length of the projectile. Right. So, uh, so you had to play around with all have... the different fireworks? 
yeah, and aim them and stuff. That is nuts. I really am a fan of the, um, what, what do you call those? The, 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 the multi-rockets? The, the cluster bombs? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, barrage kind of things. Yeah, the barrage. Yeah, that's a better term. I, like, because when I was looking through all the fireworks myself, I was like, oh, somebody's going to use this as, like, a, a barrage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, of course, it was you. Oh, there we well, go. Well, my name is Combat Wamba, so I need to have some combat. Indeed. Oh. Some pretty good shots. Not bad. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, the uh, scene of the UFO over the building that was uh, me trying to recreate uh, the Independence Day scene. Where okay. Blows up. Oh, I like how that one's shooting the uh, little, like, plasma balls. That's cool. Oh, look at this shot. That is beautiful. Yeah, the timing on this stuff is impeccable. Yeah, I, sp I spent a lot of time trying to uh, get everything time. I can't even imagine. Oh, the camera's getting stuck. There we go. As soon as they uh, they released the fireworks, uh, it was time to do this project. Right. I had no idea what actually worked. That is quite incredible. We'll, we'll check it out at daytime, uh, but we'll do that after we kind of check it out and talk about it a bit more. Um, uh, I had some questions for you, so I, I was going to say, what's yeah, your sure. inspiration for this project? Well, uh, it's a mix. Uh, as I said, uh, of course, Independence Day. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, a lot of uh, the classic old school style uh, sci-fi RTS games and FPS games like uh, Total Annihilation, mm -hmm. Halo, all that kind of stuff. I played me some Total Annihilation back in the day. Oh yeah, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just you know, you had those shots of those massive battles yeah. and all those things getting shot at you. I, I wanted to try and recreate that. This is McDread's ship, McDread's, right? Yeah. That's McDread's ship, yeah. I recognize it. So, um, how long did you work on this without the fireworks? <laughs> well, uh, that's actually a funny story, because uh, I actually gave up on this project because I uh, basically all these big projects I made, I always back them up on the Steam Workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, except this one, I forgot to. And of course, this was the one I ended up saving over uh, oh, no. back in like March or something. So I basically gave up on it then. But then they released the fireworks, so I decided, okay, I'm gonna. Ugh. So how, I'm gonna have to. How, how I'm gonna have to finish it. How far were you restarted? Uh, well, I had uh, like most of the spaceships in there, mm -hmm. and I had them all blueprints as though wasn't that hard. 
uh, but otherwise I basically had a really old say where I just had a really, really rough version of the coaster and some terrain and that was about it. Ouch. That's yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have done it if but then they so, did the fireworks, so I knew okay. Then I mean, you, you're an absolute monster at cranking out these creations. I don't know how you do it because I, I literally get like three new submissions from you a week. <laughs> I, like, I feel like you're creating this stuff full time. You're just like hammering them out, just one after another. Um, so for this one, how how long was your timeline from the time the fireworks came out to you started working on it? Uh, do you, have, do you well, have an idea? Approximation? Uh, well, when they released the uh, when they released the update, the, I did the uh, the custom biome coaster that you featured not long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Titans Railroad, and then after that, I basically worked on this until it came out. Right. I think I did maybe a little a little placeable coaster in between. All right. So it's a good few <clears> weeks. And then your fireworks, uh, how long did that take you to set up all these crazy timed fireworks? I mean, like, you, I mean, you must have sat there and looked through all the fireworks one by one to see which one will be like a perfect for a barrage like we're seeing there. Um, oh, you're using yeah. different colors. And so, you, I mean, just getting the right fireworks and going, oh, this one will work perfectly for this type of cannon. And then, you know, you must have spent some time playing around with that. And well, one of the thing, sorry. Yeah, no, I, I just kind of want to pick your brain a little bit because, like, uh, do you well, put do you put the firework in and then time it, or do you just because like you would lose track of where they all are? Or did you put them in groups? Um, how do I you... uh, well, luckily one of the uh, great things they released in the new update was the ability that you could copy uh, trigger sequences on the coaster track. I don't know if you, you've seen that. Right. Uh but, uh, so, I basically, the big battles, I made, like, five or six variations of the battles. Right, smart. And then I moved, and then I copied them around the track, and then changed the times up a bit, so it got that randomness. Right. So, they're firing back and forth at each other, and then you can re-trigger that when the coast yeah. is in view. Exactly, and basically, there's a lot of it. When the coast isn't in view there, there's not much fighting actually going on. Right. And that's also to, you know, otherwise, yeah, if they were constantly shooting stuff at each other, the FPS would just be zero. It's running uh, pretty good, though, surprisingly, considering how much stuff you got going on in here. A lot of uh, VFX and stuff, just fire everywhere. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, but, yeah, I probably used... At least, I mean, I probably used a week just setting up the triggers. So what was your favorite part of this project? Um, are you talking about building it or when yeah. you know, riding it? Yeah, what's, what's, oh. what for you was like the, the most fun? I actually really enjoyed getting everyone's blueprints in and blowing them up. <laughs> Perfect answer. <laughs> gonna get, I like gonna it. You're going to hate me for that. I thought that was really fun. <laughs> no, it is because you're, you're adding but, your own uh, touch to someone else's and, creation. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was just, I mean, just doing all the effects and stuff, it was fun it was a lot of work but it was fun i think this is a pretty self-explanatory question but what was your biggest struggle i'm i'm gonna guess the fireworks but maybe i mean might be wrong um yeah the fireworks and uh the fact that i saved over it <laughs> yeah yeah getting the motivation to actually do it once i've i believe it almost by accident awesome but, yeah, the fire. I mean, the the fireworks just took a long, long time. And I mean, a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, blueprints that weren't from the workshop, I also took some time with them. Right. There's a lot of nice lighting going on in here too. This is that must have taken a while in itself. Yeah, and I got I got hit by the uh, the bug with the lighting. Oh, the the little pixelated. Yeah. Yeah. I first discovered that with my crystal cave, and I just didn't even bother to fix it. It just kind of made them look like they were shimmering. <laughs> well, uh, they fixed it, but I didn't know if they were going to fix it. So I oh, they did fix it? Myself. Yeah, they did. Well, uh, I'm not sure it was the same bug. The one where all the lighting was reset to, like, uh, just bright white, all the floodlights. Oh. But reset to, like... Uh, just like oh, I was thinking of a different color. bug. I was thinking of a different yeah. bug. 
When they, you put they fixed it quite quickly, but it was just at the time when I was trying to trying to release this coaster, so I just I didn't know if they were going to fix it or when they were going to fix it, right. so I, and manually fixed it. And then they fixed it a few days later, anyway. So that was frustrating. But let's take a look at this at daytime. Wait, that's a.m. and p.m. So, what 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 time would you suggest? Like 11 a.m. Yeah, yeah, sure. So that's uh, it's a good time. I like the 10 and 11 a.m. best for a day. This is great terrain work too. Um, Thanks, you man. you did into the jungle, didn't you? Yeah. That was absolutely insane. That that's the most insane terrain work I've ever seen uh, in Planet Coaster yet. I was blown away by that. Um, absolutely amazing. <laughs> so you definitely have uh, a good handle on terrain sculpting. Oh yeah, I, well, I love doing the terrain work. Probably my favorite part of the game. Maybe, and then you did the last one, Titans Railroad. That was one of my favorites last month. Um, you did the snow on top, and you, a lot of different variation of the custom biome. So that was a lot of fun too. Yeah, I was just kind of playing about with the custom biome a lot in that one, and then the new coaster. So when did you join the the Channel Five Gaming Discord? You remember? Uh, I probably have it documented. After my my first uh, the first pack I did, um, one bat world. He, uh, sent that in for Spotlight, and then uh, I didn't actually. I, I, I've been watching the channel for some time. It was kind of keeping me inspired to uh, make my pack. Because I'm, I'm curious, uh, like, what, what, did you? I did we have? Did we I even have, no have rankings when you joined? Did you start no, as a no. builder? No, no. Uh, yeah, I started. Just uh, I came. I think I came in like a few weeks before you did the rankings. Okay. Yeah, um, so you've been here since the beginning, essentially, or near the beginning. Um, I mean, I, I had the community up, but there wasn't too many people in it, and then yeah, I just started inviting people. There were, I think I started going about the same time as Wix. Right. Awesome. Well, this one's leaving. Let's check it out at daytime. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. You can see things a lot more clearer now, all the details and stuff like that, so this should be interesting. Now, I don't... you won't be able to see the fireworks very well, will you? You, you can kind of see them. Yeah. They're not, they don't stand out as much. Um, so we have six other creations lined up for you this week, and... Uh, we're, yeah. we're sort of uh, build, building up the anticipation till Sunday, and you got another big one for us. Yeah. So this should be a pretty fun week. Coming out with a bang with this one. one. <laughs> yeah, so one. Oh, so much destruction. Combat's uh, really into sci-fi and fantasy, so we're going to see a mixture of... We're going to alternate, so tomorrow we'll do one of his uh, very first fantasy creations. And then we'll go into some more sci-fi and then back to fantasy. Should be a pretty fun uh, week. I'm excited. Oh. You can see the smoke a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, the smoke means that time. I didn't even see the trees. I try and make uh, I try and make different experience day and night. Right.
Oh, I love that part. That was the big uh, blue. Yeah. Oh, you got some bursted pipes down here. We didn't get to see that yeah. at uh, nighttime. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. That was a ton of fun combat. I really love that. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. You know, you're working on something right now? Because we got all um, your creations in my inbox. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually taking a, a bit of a, a break. That's fair enough. I completely been, understand. Uh, <laughs> I had my uh, featured creator week last week, and uh, be, I was pumping out stuff for that. So I yep. feel like I deserve a small short oh, break. Oh, definitely. But definitely. I've, got, I've got some uh, ideas in the, work, in the works. This is the first time we tried doing, I guess this is like a Channel 5 gaming featured creator. You're being featured all week long. And and brought yeah, you which, on as a guest. Uh, I so. have to say, uh, well, thank you so much. It's yeah, well, honor. thank you for all these amazing creations. I just want to share them all, and uh, I think this is the best way to do it, to get them all out at once so everyone gets to know your style. And we're still going to have other videos in between. There'll be a video coming up after this by someone else, but he's the first of every day. So let me know, you, uh, everyone oh. else, what you guys think down in the comments. And maybe like next week or the week after, we'll try and grab another one of our master builders or someone who has a lot of creations um, and, and try and bring them on as a guest and pick their mind a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, I want to see Riddler Week. Riddler Week. That would actually be great. I was uh, thinking about that because um, he he has some older creations that I never got to feature. I featured almost like I'd say 60, 70% of his creations, but there's a bunch of ones that I, I could go back and check out that I've always wanted to. So a Riddler Week would be really good and he's kind of like the silent assassin. He's never been on the, <laughs> he's never been on the show. He's hard to get a hold of and uh you know he it comes forward he wins the top 10 coasters of the month he he you know blows everybody away with his amazing creations every time and we've never heard from him so uh, i think uh, another great person would be tetsuo because i'm thinking of people who have quantity and also quality uh people that pump them out a lot so we're gonna have to go through the list and look at people's but i know tetsuo gives me like two or three new ones a week you were uh giving me so many so uh, i'll look at the inbox and see who i have a lot of and uh let me know this to the subscribers let me know what you guys thought of this and uh, what you guys think of like a featured creator week and then um, you know uh, we'll try and get some more people in on the week now we're probably gonna have to space them out because it will skew the top 10 coasters of the month in some cases because uh, that's a lot of creations from you know two individuals if we did them like that so we'll definitely have to space them out or we'll have to get some extra videos out something like that but uh, I think it's a lot of fun and I'm excited to see what's up for the next six days because I've only looked at thumbnails for each of your creations and that's that's all I know, really. So I'm, uh, I'm, and we're gonna build up the anticipation all the way up to what was it, Mythica for Sunday? Yeah. So, so we got another big one coming out for you guys. So and that's a fantasy one. Yeah. This was one of Combat's bigger creations, guys. So I figured want to get one of his more fantastic big creations for him on to talk about on on the guest appearance. And then tomorrow we're gonna scale it back and we're gonna go to one of his um, more one of your first creations, right? Earlier yeah. creations. And then we're gonna ramp it up from there. Um, um, and we're going to alternate between sci-fi and fantasy. So it should be a lot of fun. So there you go, guys. Uh, that was Planetfall Futuristic Battle Coaster from Combat Wombat. And that was Combat Wombat with me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me on, man. It was a pleasure. Anytime. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight, everybody. If you enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. Share on social media with your friends and all that good stuff. And uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Hope you have a fantastic day, Combat. Thank you. You too. And everyone else. Thank you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now. Bye.